Humilities for sissies. Just a couple of minutes before our first concert of 10 days of touring across New South Wales. We're right here in the middle of the city at the Rocks in Sydney. Very exciting. This week or over the next few days I want to talk to you about humility. See, humility is often misunderstood. We don't really understand what humility is. Humility is not hiding our gifts. It's not turning away from what God has given us. In fact, just a few days ago I got an email from this guy, I don't know where he was from, but he said, why, why should I be humble? I can't figure out why I should be humble if God is not humble himself. Well, let's talk about this. Day two here in Fairfield about to speak at a school assembly. One of the things we need to understand as well is it's about perspective. Humility is not about holding back our gifts, but about understanding what should come first, what should come second, and what should come third. Humility is about coming to a proper perspective of who we are, who others are, and who God is. Pride is putting ourselves at the front of the line when it should be first God, then others, then ourselves. So we just finished our session here in Fairfield, excited what God is going to do. Always calling, calling us to be bigger and better at what we can do. So greetings from Fairfield. There's a beautiful scripture verse which says that always consider others better than yourself. It's not that we don't have gifts or we're not as good as they are. But even if we are better or no more, it's about lifting other people up at all costs. Because in others we see God and we glorify God. This is pretty consistent with what St. Thomas Aquinas says about humility. He says it's about keeping within your bounds of who you are and what you were created to be. Now, we are to reach for the stars, to be excellent, to be awesome. Because we are awesome, God has created us beautifully and fearfully. But not to assume that we can do it by our own strength. It is by the strength of God, by the might of God, that we can reach the potential that God has for our lives. Day three. I just finished a keynote speech here with a group of liturgists from around New South Wales. Scary speaking to people like this, but awesome. Jesus, let's talk about Jesus. Jesus, I would say, is the epitome, the top, the most humble person in the world. You see, he was the creator of the universe. He holds the universe in this, his hands, but yet he decides to come into this world. And after he enters into this world, he decides to wash the feet of his disciples. Now, he was superior to his disciples. He was a greater man because he was God. He was a perfect man. He had the most gifts that any person could possibly have in the palm of his hands. But yet, he chose not to show his gifts, but wanted to serve people, use those gifts to elevate others, to wash the feet of others, and to teach others to do the same. This is what Jesus tells us. He washed the feet of his disciples, and he says, now go and do the same. Go and wash the feet of, of other people. So this is the purpose of our gifts. Not to let ourselves shine, but to build and elevate others. Jesus, being equal to God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but humbled himself to serve others, humbled himself to death, even death of a criminal, death on a cross. Wow. Day four is over, and now we have time to relax before an awesome day tomorrow with some more students. Humility is a, a beautiful thing, it's a hard thing, and it's a thing that we have to decide to live in every moment. Practical ways in which we can do that is, for example, letting go of an argument, when you know you're right. Even when you have all the proof and you could Google the answer and you can prove that you're right, just let it go. That is an awesome act of humility. Another great act of humility is to
tidying up, even if you didn't make the mess yourself. Day five here today in Bathurst speaking to 700 kids, an awesome day. The next thing you can do is always encourage people's gifts. Even if we feel sometimes we are more gifted than them, use them, give them your platform every now and then. Come in the camera. I can't even say it. <laughs> Another thing to do is to thank God for the gifts you have. The gifts are given to you by God. Acknowledge God and use them to the fullest. Another thing you can do is seek to make other people look good, even at the cost of looking bad yourself. Humility is understanding the perspective of God, understanding who you are through the eyes of God. So remember that God calls us to greatness, but we are the greatest when we are bowed down, when we raise other people up, when we glorify God for the good things in our lives.